Netflix says it will reduce its streaming quality in Europe by around 25%. It'll lower the bit rate over the next 30 days, and it's intended to make sure the internet in Europe keeps running smoothly. The European Union had been urging Netflix and other streaming platforms to adjust their streaming band bit rates and to switch to standard definition when HD is unnecessary. There are millions of Americans who are working from home, and the US Internet is facing a similar test. One of the largest telecommunications in the country, Verizon says it expects to spend an extra half billion dollars this year on its network infrastructure. Verizon's chief executive, Hans Vestberg, joins me from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Let's deal with the first bit about how the network is handling what you're seeing. What sort of capacity, what sort of increase in usage are you seeing? So for, first of all, we see a moderate growth in the overall network, but we see the network sort of are moving to different places. We see sort of applications like uh, week over week, gaming is up 75% in the network. Web traffic is up 20%. VPN, which is connections uh, from home to corporations, up 30%. Streaming is up 10%. So that's what we see so far, but uh, so far is no, no congestions in the network. We can, we can handle that. We have built a very robust network. We have a great IP network, wireline network, and a wireless network. And all of them are coping with these changing patterns that we see right now in the US when so many more are working from home or doing schooling from home uh, or being home uh, uh, working or doing anything else. Right, but what about this call from Netflix that has agreed to cut the, uh, the, the, the bit rate in Europe? You're obviously familiar with the European infrastructure as well as the US infrastructure yeah. is this something you would expect in the US where streaming particularly with all the new streaming services have become so popular is it likely that they'll have to do similar in America so far, we have no indication of that. We have built very robust network when it comes to Verizon. We have very, very much uh, deep uh, fiber in the, in the whole uh, network. And of course, we have a great wireline network. So far, we, we don't foresee that. Uh, we have prepared for this all the time. We always have headroom in the network. That goes both for the wireline network and the wireless network. But for obvious reasons, there are certain groups in our society right now that definitely need uh, the connectivity. Like like first responders, healthcare, hospitals, etc., and we are seeing that they are getting uh, whatever data or connection they need as well. And I mean, you, you've got tens of thousands of employees. How difficult is it for you managing such a large company, where, where, where a lot of your resources are in the northeast uh, or out, out west? And you're obviously affected yourselves by the virus. Never mind having to keep a network up for the rest of us. Your own company is affected by the virus. Yeah, you're right. We have 135,000 people, uh, employees globally. Of course, a big portion here in the US. We basically, uh, around the globe, have actually in less than one week moved 100,000 employees to work from home. That's how quickly we can actually scale these type of systems. At the same time, uh, we also need to keep the networks up. So we are, still have field engineers in the market keeping the network out, but they're very much cautious today. Uh, we also have stores open, fewer stores, and, and, uh, and uh, the opening the hours is, is uh, shorter but we still have that in order to serve our customers. So our mission is, first of all, safety and health for our, uh, right. for our employees. But secondly, we need to keep these networks up because they are so important in this critical moment and this crisis that we have right now. The number, I mean, I I'm sitting in a building that used to have 1,100 employees in. There's about 150 of us in it at the moment. And I'm sure where you are is, is, is similar. Uh, were we, we're never ready for a global pandemic. But do you think in terms of working from home, in terms of planning for catastrophe, cat catastrophic planning, do you think we were ready, Hans? No, I think it's it's very mixed here. Uh, we see a lot of our larger uh, customers actually asking for totally new ways of uh, connecting with us and moving capacity in the network, especially for home environment, much more video. So, of course, uh, 
not many has been planning for it some have of course and then of course you have the small and medium enterprises which usually cannot even afford to have this type of planning that also has changed their pattern totally but I think that companies like ours Verizon we have the capacity to support them and that's what we're doing right now that's why I'm I'm sort of having this balance between the safety and health of my employees which is super important but also seeing this critical infrastructure up is up because that is uh, turning the economy right. if we don't get the communication up and the connectivity up the economy will stand still totally uh, final question and you obviously this you're the ceo so you have responsibilities at the corporate level as the stock market uh, actually you know you're, you're not down as much as others for obvious reasons the nature of the thing but but as as uh, the as the as the market gives its re its verdict and as in turmoil and the government considers what responses it needs to make in terms of government assistance are you finding any difficulty either in the market or in terms of covering your paper no not at the moment of course there are many questions uh, from uh, investors in this time and again you you act normally you're very transparent you say the same to everyone uh, at the same time but uh, not changing that but uh, uh, haven't seen any problems with that but remember we're very short uh, time into this pandemic and uh, it can go on for a while so we are well adjusting to a new normal how we're going to work with all our stakeholders employees customers society and shareholders so that we're evolving every day here good to talk to you hans keep keep at it and uh, we'll talk more again about this thank you keep doing what you're doing you're keeping the network up and running and keeping everybody working from home thank you sir i appreciate it